Hello my dear students, welcome to the class. Today we are here with a new topic, isostasy. What is isostasy? Isostasy is derived from a German word, okay? Isostasy is derived from a German word that is isostasius, okay? Isostasius. What is isostasius? It means equipoise or state of balance, okay? Isostasy is derived from a German word which means equipoise or state of balance. State of balance of the earth. The earth is made up of different types of landforms. Okay. The earth is made up of different types of landforms like mountains, plains, plateaus, basins, etc. But the balance between them, that how they are balancing themselves according to their density on the earth, on the rotating earth, okay? So that is isostasy. Now this isostasy word is firstly plotted by the American geologist that is Dutton in 1889, okay? Now the definition, we will come to know the definition. definition, the definition says that a mechanical stability between upstanding parts that is that are mountain plateaus etc and low lying basins low lying basins not basins means the basins and the plains on our on our rotating earth is that clear on our rotating earth so that the balance of equi uh, equilibrium okay between these plateaus plains mountains are called as isostasy is that clear so next we are moving on to the theories of isostasy that is uh, done by two main geographers okay so Pratt's theory related to the isostasy is that Pratt developed this theory in the year 1855 after studying the gravitational pull of Himalayas so when he came to India and he studied the gravitational pull of Himalaya he has developed this theory according to him According to him, the higher the place is, the higher the place is, the lower the density is, okay. According to him, what he told that, like mountains, mountains will have the lowest density, then plateaus will have much more than that, plains will have much more than that, and oceans will have the highest density, the ocean floor will have the highest density because it is lower in height, okay. His theory can be understood through this experiment, okay, with a mercury vessel. If this vessel is full of mercury and four types of elements are kept here that are lead, iron, antimony and zinc. As we know, the density of ant lead is highest, okay, the density of lead is highest then the density of iron the, uh, sorry then the density of zinc then the density of iron then the density of antimony so antimony which has the lowest density is the is coming up through the mercury level in a higher place as you can see if the weight of these four are same okay these four uh, elements are kept of the same weight these four elements are of same weight and when they are kept but but their density varies but their density varies so the lowest the density is the highest the element is as you can see in this diagram okay and the label where the all the elements of the same okay all the elements are lying in the same line that are known that is known as level of compensation okay and as you can see lead is the uh, as you can see lead is the has the highest density so it is the lowest then there is zinc then iron then antimony same thing he told about the mountain plains and plateaus that mountains which have the lowest density that is 2.6 okay is the highest most highest place then plateau 2.7 then plains and basins 2.8 and then c is that clear so he talked about the related to the density and uh, related to the theory of isostasy is that clear students now another theory related to the isostasy in your syllabus is uh, uh, is of a homes that is that is author homes so what he said that he supported the aries theory who the aries theory who developed it, this theory in 1978 related to the isostasy of earth okay what what he said the higher the mat material is okay the higher the height of the relief feature of the earth is the lighter the material is the 
lighter the lighter the material is and the the lower the height of the relief feature is the heavier heavier the material is or denser the material is okay so according to him the mountains are the lighter materials okay they are heavy in size they are in big size but they are made up of lighter material and to adjust themselves they are of big height okay and the lower the lower heighted places like plateaus and plains they are made up of more dense material okay we will understand this with the help of diagram okay so dear students as you can see in this diagram that the mountain ranges okay the mountain ranges have the highest highest depthness okay highest depthness now what he stated that that the exploration of the crust by earthquake waves confirm the influence the mountain ranges and have root largely composed of seals which goes down to the depth of 50 to 60 km in coastal areas in coastal areas the plains the the thickness of the plains uh, that is seal is only 30 km and beneath beneath the oceans beneath the deep oceans it is more or less the thickness is more or less so the higher the the higher the uh, place is the the lighter the material is and the lower the place is the denser the material is so that is how they are adjusting themselves in the earth on the rotating earth they are creating and places of equilibrium on the rotating earth so hope you understood well thank you very much student